Afternoon people, welcome back. Padge here, ready for another juice review on this rather murky, humid and quite thundery uh, Friday afternoon. Almost forgot me days. That's what happens when you work shifts. You lose track of days. Uh, today's review is brought from darkstarvapor.co.uk. Um, they got a hold of me uh, via my page. Uh, in fact, they know they got via via me via Facebook, actually, instant messaging. Uh, asked if I'd like to... Uh, do a review for them. Um, so I said, yeah, no, of course I would, I'd love to. Um, I've used their products in the past, uh, the nicotine, all their base mix and stuff. Just never got around to actually trying their flavours. Uh, so I was basically asked to go on the website and I could choose a couple of flavours that maybe took my fancy, uh, which I did. And I got Blue Cherry and I got a Shamrock Shake. Now, these are £14.50 for 250 mils of your flavor. Um, if you add, if you're a three milligram vapor, you'll need uh, four 10 mil, 18 milligram nicotine shots. And they also do the base mix, which you just top it up with. And that comes to 22 pound 50, that's a really good deal. Or they do the uh, Atomic Bundle, uh, which is two, two flavors. Um, and I, I think plus your, your base mix and possibly your nicotine as well thrown in for about £30. So you, you make a saving. The simplicity of this is what I love most. The hard work is taken out for people if they don't want to mix or they don't want to work out calculations. And I know it's made easy nowadays with short fills anyway. But when you do grand big scale uh, bottles and stuff, you used to be able to only make big bottles up by mixing it completely. Calculations, boom, mind explosion for some not interested. Easiest, easiest chips. When you receive these bottles, you'll have the concentrate down the bottom. And then basically, with the base mix, which you can buy already mixed, which is your VG and PG, um, fill it up, bush to the label, job done. Add your nicotine shots. Job done, or I actually, I would say first, add your nicotine shots to the concentrate and then top it up to the label with um, your base mix. That way then you're not going too high, um, which is what I did, and I went slightly above the label. But we have Shamrock Shake and we've got Blue Cherry. Now I was told Shamrock Shake takes about two weeks steep. Um, I... The date on this, what the date I put it, I created this on the 20th of July. So mm, a week and a half, two weeks, uh, coming around about two weeks. Now what I have done, which I don't normally do, because things need steeping, and I'm not a great believer of steeping things, I, I'm too impatient to be absolutely fair. I've been trying this every other day for the last two weeks, just to see how the flavour changes, and it does, it, change, it has changed uh, drastically. I haven't tried it for about four or five days now. Um, at first, uh, well, I'll talk about it when we get into it. Um, let's do a uh, blue cherry first. I've got some fresh wick on a brand new stainless steel coil. Um, these are coming out at 0.26 ohms. Um, and you get these nice little pory tops as well. You do get your fixed tops when it's in transit and then you get these in with the package. Just unscrew, love it. Because there's no leaking, there's no messing about. Um, and then, Smell it. I get a fruit flavour. You can smell the cherry. It can almost smell like a, a sloshy sort of smell as well. You know, like a, a I don't know, a slosh poppy. Mm. It smells really good. It's a nice consistency. 70-30 VGPG. I'm running this at all oh, about 50 watts today. Let's actually whack it up a bit. Just the 60. All right, let's take a two. Might have if I press the button. Vapor production, amazing. Now this, this has changed a hell of a lot. I tried this about a week ago um, and I couldn't taste anything at all. It was very, very vague. Um, this, I was told about a 48 hour sleep. Personally, I'd let this sleep for a good week and a half 
uh, you know, and, it, and obviously as you get through the bottle, it will steep for longer. That cherry's coming through loud and proud, uh, which it didn't do in the first instance. It's a really nice, more of a confectionery sort of candy-fied sort of cherry. It's very much slush, slush puppy. Slightly cool on the exhale. And then you've got that sort of raspberry undertone coming through as well. So it's a really nice concoction of uh, fruit flavours, that. And for the price point as well. £14.50, you get your, your concentrate and the bottle, obviously, in the bottle. For £22.50, you get your, your four nicotine shots and you're getting your, you, you get your base mix as well. Although, you buy your base mix and your nicotine separately and it all comes up to £22.50. That's before carriage charges, postage. So you've got your postage on top. Um, I believe they do, I might even believe they do free postage. Don't quote me on that. I haven't had a chance to look first day at all off and I've been rushing around doing all my bits and pieces I need to do as well. Let's bung a bit more of this on. It's really, really nice. The only thing I would say, uh, these uh, these spouts, these pouring spouts, they're a little bit fast, uh, bigger drops. So just go easy if you're dripping. Uh, tanks, it's fine. Really easy to use. That cherry is really good. That raspberry mixes really well with it. I'd like, um, if that was me, I'd probably buy uh, some Coolada and, and put some cool larder in it as well just to make it really icy it's really nice though really really smooth i mean three milligrams if you six milligram vapor then um i think it's six six 10 mil bottles you might need uh for a 250 foot 250 mil bottle brilliant now when I was looking for the website and I, I, I do go on to dark star quite often and I just never get around to buying stuff because something else crops up but I remember quite a long time ago now they they released a peanut butter ice cream and it really tickled me fancy I love peanut butter I love ice cream and so I'd be able to vape it less calories uh, keeps me in shape but saw it put it in my basket along with the blue cherry. And then I thought, I'll oh, just have a look at what other flavors there were. And I came across this shamrock shake, a peppermint milkshake. And uh, it, that kind of pipped to the post because uh, I really like the sound of it. And to be honest, when I opened the bottle and I smelled it, I wasn't disappointed at all. Uh, when you smell it, people, you get that really smooth peppermint minty smell. Imagine opening up a box of after eights and that's that sort of decadent, sort of mint you get obviously minus the chocolate and it's really really you could drink the bloody stuff it's that sort of that sort of aroma it really sort of gets you gets you going sort of thing um your flavor taste buds going i should say and it's really really nice now as i say uh this has required a minimum of about two weeks sleep because when i did try it and i have been trying it periodically on and off as i said before at the beginning of this of this, of this uh video uh, the peppermint was uh, quite harsh and there was nothing else much to it, to be honest. Um, there was no sort of creaminess or anything. Uh, and as I tried it, I was trying it every other day, every two days, and it was changing every, It was changing quite rapidly. You know, that, that mint was smoothing out uh, and the cream was coming forward. Now, I haven't tried it for about five days, so uh, oh, let's have a blast of this because it smells amazing. Let's take a two. Oh, yes. Now we have what's on the label. On that intake, that first bait, smooth peppermint flavour. It's so crisp. It's like, imagine an after eight crossed with a Viscount biscuit. It's that it's that peppermint it's pepperminty and then that exhale it's creamy it's slightly milky fired it is a, uh, a milkshake 
for me a peppermint milkshake, which I've never I've never had one. I've never drunk one, but now I want to go out and, and have one because it, it tastes sublime. On that, you know, that aftertaste, the more you vape it, you get more of that milkshake uh, flavour. It's creamy. There's a slight little note of vanilla coming through. Um, it's not a strong note, but vanilla is quite a vague flavour. It's normally what you use to add to other things. But smooth as silk. If you like peppermint or you like mint, it hasn't got any sort of menthol in it or anything like that. So don't get worried or get put off by that. I would personally... Uh, get some coolada and add to this to make it like a really iced peppermint milkshake but the flavour is sublime I could vape this all day and I uh, bloody will it's not even it's not it's sweet but it's not sickly sweet and I thought it might be but what I might, what I would say is that there is a, a, a level of sweetness in there. If you're using sort of pre-made coils, you know, for uh, for tanks and that, just be just be mindful that you know anything with a a little bit of uh, sweetener and stuff can sort of clog coils up slightly faster. If you're using rebuildables, not a problem. You can take your cotton out, re-wick, wash your coil through, bobs your uncle, funnies your aunt, and you're all ready to go again. Two fantastic flavours. Uh, as I say, that blue cherry, um, try it when you first buy it and you mix it up, shake it, try it, you might like it. After 48 hours, you might like it, it might be for you. Uh, but for me, uh, it was quite a vague flavour, but now that's coming through loud and proud. That blue cherry is a real, real nice flavour. Oh, it's very summery as well. So there we have it, Shamrock Shake and the blue cherry from Dark Star Vapor, thanks to uh, Dark Star for sending them through. I've been a Page. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. Bye for now.